All right, my name is Andrew Langerich. I'm here today with Axon, and I'm here to do an upper body mobility class for you. So today, what you're going to need is you'll need a foam roller and a therapy ball, and then just some open space on your floor. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with the foam roller here and work on our upper back to get started. So what I want you to do is you're going to bring it and you're going to lie perpendicular to the foam roller, bring it right in between the shoulder blades, hand behind the head, hands behind the head to support the neck, and then you're going to lift your butt up and kind of roll through the mid back, letting your chest kind of open up. And you're just going to roll. So if you find a tight spot, what you're going to do is you're going to put your butt on the ground and then you're going to lean back over the foam roller, hold for a couple seconds and come back up, making sure that when you do this, you're not arching your lower back. So it's all coming from the upper back. Your lower back stays nice and flat, leaning back over it. You might feel some pops and clicks in the mid back there. That's perfectly fine. If you're somebody who's slouched over a computer, this is probably gonna feel pretty good to kind of open that chest and upper back up. Again, you wanna make sure your hands stay behind your head so that you're not putting any added strain on your neck as you're doing this. If it just feels good to just kind of roll through the muscles in the back, that's perfectly fine as well. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to using the, we're gonna stick with the foam roller, but we're gonna work on our lats. It's a big muscle that comes all the way underneath our shoulder to our lower back. You're gonna lie on your side with your hand kind of up on your head here, and then you're just gonna roll nice and slow. The more weight you can put by getting up on your toes, the better off it's gonna be. It's a big, thick muscle that wraps around so you might need to angle your body different directions if you find a real tender spot that feels good you're just going to kind of hang out there The lats are important muscles for pull-ups and any pulling movements. Um, they're also really active when you're doing deadlifts, things like that. So you want to make sure that they're in good shape. If you're somebody who's doing any overhead lifting, shoulder presses, overhead squats, anything like that, tight lats can really restrict how easily it is for you to get your hand up above your head. So we want to make sure that when we're working on mobility that we take care of those those lat muscles. They also attach all the way down into the lower back. So on occasions they can cause pain in your lower back. Um, so we want to just make sure that we're keeping everything nice and healthy, moving the way it's supposed to. So we'll go ahead and switch sides. Uh, you could use a therapy ball here if you want, but typically this is a pretty tender sensitive area. So I usually tell people to, to start with the foam roller um, and if they're really interested in doing the, the mobility ball, they can add that later in, later on. And every once in a while, you'll start to fall off the foam roller. So make sure you're readjusting yourself. All right, so we can go ahead and put the foam roller away. 
for right now. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna be with the therapy ball. We're gonna work on the rotator cuff in the back of the shoulder. So you're gonna lie on your back. You're gonna take the ball. You're gonna put it right on your shoulder blade. Find a tender spot, kind of roll it around. Once you find a spot that feels pretty tender, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and just rotate your shoulder forward and back like this. So those rotator cuff muscles stabilize the shoulder and they do these rotation movements. So once we get those tender spots pinned down with the ball, we can get them activated and stretched a little bit as we move and that'll help improve the mobility and decrease the tension in those muscles. So the rotator cuff muscles are super important for any overhead lifting, pulling movements, even when you're doing bench press push-ups, they're in charge of stabilizing the shoulders. So you might not feel sore in them, but they're definitely muscles that are constantly being worked to allow your shoulder to function the way that it's supposed to. And as you can see, as we go, um, I'm kind of moving around as I feel the muscle kind of loosen up and the tenderness kind of dissipate. We're going to just move to a different spot. The other thing you can do if you want, you can just move your arm straight up overhead. That's going to probably be a little bit more uncomfortable for people. Um, but moving up overhead will definitely get those rotator cuff muscles in at different angles with the ball pinned down there. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. And if you're someone who knows that they've had shoulder pain in one shoulder or the other, um, and you feel like you need to spend more time on one side than the other, uh, I suggest that you do so. Everybody's a little bit different. Um, so you wanna make sure you listen to your body and what it's telling you that it needs um, so that you can really address the, the tender spots and tight spots that are most important. And just so everybody can see again, I'm right on the shoulder blade here. You can see underneath. All right, now we're going to work on stretching the back side of the shoulder. So we're going to lie on our right side, arms stay stacked, shoulder stays stacked. What you're going to do is you're going to grab your elbow and you're going to pull across your body here. Now what I don't want is I don't want you to lean back, then you'll start to lose some of that stretch on the back side of the shoulder. So you're just going to pull across. We're going to hold there for 30 seconds. So this is a stretch you'll see a lot with people in standing. And what happens is sometimes the, the shoulder blade starts to creep out to the side so you don't get as good of a stretch. So when you're lying on your side here like this, the floor in your body weight is blocking the shoulder blade from kind of winging out to the side so you get a much, much better stretch. Give yourself a little break. Readjust if you need to. Remember, you want your shoulders stacked right on top of each other. Good. We'll do one more on this side and then we'll switch.
All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Again, shoulders stacked up, grab the elbow, pull across your body here. A little rest. And then one more time, and then we've got one last stretch for our upper body routine. All right, so we'll need our foam roller for the last one. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lie on it long ways and we're just gonna stretch your pecs. So make sure your back and neck are supported on the foam roller. Hands, the higher up over your head they go, the more of a stretch you're gonna get. You're just gonna let your arms fall down to the sides, let your chest open up. Make sure your neck's not extended. So try to keep your neck flat like you're looking straight forward. And we're just gonna hang here for about a minute just to finish up. All right, and that's it. Thanks again for joining me and Axon for an upper body mobility class.